Black-headed vultures have made their way to Indiana. We're talking about birds that are federally protected. And farmers who are in the southern part of our state tell our Sarah Jones that these vultures are killing their calves and, in some rare instances, cattle as well. Whether we're from the city or a rural area, we've heard of vultures. They feed on carcasses. But there's a different kind of vulture that's in Indiana, and it has cattle farmers concerned. I never heard of a buzzard killing anything. Until he had a cow who had trouble getting up after giving birth. As soon as I went through the gate over, I seen down there where she was at, I seen buzzards fly up, and I thought, well, she must have died. And she was still alive, and these black vultures were eating on her. They eat so much on her, I had, to, I had to destroy the cow. And for some farmers, these cattle are a source of income. There was other farmers around in the area that were having more trouble than I were. Some of them lost seven or eight calves. He probably lost $10,000. But protecting one's livestock isn't as easy as getting a shotgun. All migratory birds in North America are federally protected. But for $100, they'll let you kill a few of them. Rollins says getting permits in Indiana isn't as easy as it is in other states. But researchers say killing the birds is not the solution. Vultures have a role. They are a native species and they're nature's cleanup crew. Other areas of the world where you have these catastrophic catastrophic vulture declines, we've had huge increases in diseases like rabies. The birds were typically found south of the Ohio River, but they've migrated north. We don't know why or how widespread or how likely their attacks on livestock might be. We don't have that kind of information for Indiana really at all. In the southern United States, the information that we do have suggests that somewhere around 40 percent of cattle ranchers have had issues with them in the past. But Purdue researchers are looking into empirical data data through surveys and by asking farmers to donate carcasses. What is essentially the context on the ground for livestock producers? The presence of black vultures in Indiana is a fact, but the fact is surrounded by many anecdotes and unanswered questions that Purdue researchers are hoping to answer.